o'clock in Sri Lanka and uh, it's 10.30 in Canada here. It's a lovely morning. I'm sure you guys had a good uh, Sunday and everybody is relaxed. Uh, don't think about tomorrow is Monday, you know. Um, so I'm going to actually mute a few people. And uh, let's start the webinar now. My name is uh, Varagunan Mahadevan. I'm uh, talking to you from Canada. Uh, I live in a place near Toronto. I'm a family doctor. Family doctor is equal to a GP in Sri Lanka. And um, so we've been doing these uh, webinars. Uh, this is the seventh webinar on different topics. But this is the second set of season two of uh, uh, the SME development in uh, Sri Lanka. So we have very distinguished uh, speakers and audience uh, joining us. The purpose of these webinars are, uh, it's the small group of like-minded people getting together and this is the nucleus of starting something. I don't want to call it as a revolution, but yes, partly it's a big industrial or a developmental revolution should start from these little uh, small groups of like-minded people who are interested in developing our lovely motherland, Sri Lanka. We all love Sri Lanka and uh, this is the time uh, I think uh, we need to think of development, employment, factories, uh, poverty alleviation, all these topics needs to be addressed now. I know there was history there, lots of uh, hatred, lots of bad blood shed. Okay, that's enough. Now it's time for us to focus on the future, what Lanka we are going to leave it to our younger generation. That's the only motive of uh, these type of webinars we are conducting. Um, other than that, nobody is uh, monetary wise, nobody is paid here. Everybody has kindly volunteered to participate in this and share their great experience here. We have very distinguished uh, audience and speakers. Uh, first, uh, let me uh, introduce Mr. <clears throat> Tyagaraja. Uh, you know, he is well known to all of us. He's a chairman of the Kargil, uh, managing director of the Kargil's Bank. Mr. Tyagaraja, Mr. Rajendra Tyagaraja, and uh, yes, where are ask, we? yes, where are you? I can't see you. Okay, you're hiding. Just hold on a second. Hold on a second. You putting your makeup on or <laughs> uh, trying to cooperate with you? <laughs> So, Mr. Rajendra is here. Let me ask him to few, uh, start a few words on this SME strategies in Northern Province. Mr. Thiago. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Vargunan. Uh, folks, for those of you who uh, are plugging in for the first time uh, this week and was not there for the previous webinar, uh, I, I had the privilege of being the keynote address on this subject and uh, focused on five to six key points. So I'm not going to delve uh, because that's already on record. It's, there's a recorded version. I'm sure uh, Baragunan can make it available to those who were not able to participate. So instead of re rehashing that whole thing, I will just uh, just very briefly point out the five or six points I made in that uh, opening um, uh, the session and then allocate maybe my six minutes allocated later on Q and A because that day we didn't have too much of time for Q and A uh, to try and make it as practical and interactive as possible. So my my key points as from a Sri Lankan who is living and doing business in this country regarding the problems on SME development, particularly in the north, uh, had five or six points. First was the relative the concern that there was relatively little access to debt financing. And I think uh, from my point of view, that has been very much addressed in the uh, post-COVID environment by the government. I think I said today, almost 100 billion has been 
uh, the phases under the COVID refinancing scheme. The second point was that there was still a relatively poor access to markets outside the north for the northern entrepreneur. There were reasons for that. We can touch a bit more uh, when we look at Q&A. And you know, the key thing there was people trying to uh, uh, scale up and go into exports with, without first exploring the country as a whole as a domestic market. This is my personal opinion. The third point was uh, very little use of technology and care demonetization tools currently available. There is still a very heavy cash-based economic activity in the north, which is certainly not helping to plug into the e-commerce, which is uh, ballooning. The fourth is uh, certainly uh, a reluctance uh, uh, from the smaller MSME, SME space to uh, keep up to date in terms of proper record keeping, accounting, etc. And this is particularly important uh, when you are opening yourself to a different type of capital now available both locally and globally, which is private equity. One needs to keep a decent set of books to show a history of your business. And then also value addition. Uh, there is still, in my humble opinion, a lot of stuff is from the primary stuff which gets sold. Uh, as a result, there is very value, little value addition which is created and or retained in the north. So there is no point of all the good efforts we all are trying to do if that value addition is being shifted outside the northern province. The northern province will still stagnate and remain where it is. So that, 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 those were the five key points I wanted to point out and I spent the first 10 or 15 minutes during the last week's keynote. So with those opening remarks, I will hand it back to uh, Varagunan and uh, make available my time during the panel session to maybe take a uh, few questions. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Rajendra. Uh, you know, what I love with Mr. Rajendra's approach is uh, he doesn't mince words. He's straightforward, honest, and open. He doesn't hold his words. Uh, uh, I mean, that's the that's the approach I think we need now, uh, rather than mincing words and going around and round and beating the bush. Thank you again, uh, Mr. Rajendra. He will be giving his comments uh, every uh, now and then, and he'll also be here for the question and answer session. Now.